want to turn to NBC's chief White House correspondent, Kristen Welker. Kristen, she is also, of course, if confirmed, the first black woman to sit on the United States Supreme Court, a promise made during the campaign by President Biden. What can you tell us about the deliberation here? Well, Savannah, that promise was made by then candidate Biden exactly two years ago today during a debate. He said that he would, in fact, choose a black woman for the Supreme Court. And so here is the day. I can tell you that in the deliberations, the White House has consistently said that the president wanted to choose someone who was in the mold of Justice Breyer. As Pete laid out, this is someone who clerked for Justice Breyer, and that is something that she is quite proud of, as well as all of her other legal work. And so that was clearly one of the factors. But take a look at her background, Savannah, and her confirmation process. She earned the votes of three Republicans, Senators Lindsey Graham, Lisa Murkowski, and Susan Collins. So could she get their support now? Of course, the White House has said that bipartisanship will be an important part of this process as well. So that's something to look for. Of course, some Republicans have criticized the decision to choose a black woman, but the White House defends it. They say this is a historic pick and an historic day, Savannah. All right, Kristen Welker, thank you. And again, the news from the White House, Ketanji Brown-Jackson will be the president's nominee, nominee to the United States Supreme Court, set to replace the man she once clerked for, Justice Stephen Breyer. We'll have more, but for now, most of you will return to today. I'm Savannah Guthrie in New York. All right, good morning and welcome to the third hour of today. I'm Chanel here with Al and Dylan. It has been a busy right. Friday morning Absolutely. for sure. Let's get right to it. You just heard the breaking news out of Washington today, a historic day for the U.S. Supreme Court. NBC News has learned it will be Judge Katanji Brown Jackson. NBC Chief White House Correspondent Kristen Welker is joining us with more on this selection. Kristen, what can you tell us about this pick? Hi, Chanel, Dylan, and Al. Well, this is an historic pick. Uh, President Biden will nominate the first black woman to the Supreme Court in Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson. Uh, she is someone who currently sits on the U.S. Court of Appeals here in D.C., but she's someone who has served as a public defender and notably was a clerk for Justice Stephen Breyer. And throughout this process, the White House has said the president wants to nominate someone who is in the mold of Justice Breyer. So we we were looking at this short list and we kept coming back to Judge Katanji Brown Jackson in large part for that reason. But here's the other significant thing to know about this pick. She is someone who got confirmation to the U.S. Court of Appeals with the votes of three Republicans, Senators Lindsey Graham, Lisa Murkowski and Susan Collins. So could she get that type of bipartisan support now? We know that the White House has said that that could be significant to have Republicans on board with this. Now, it was two years ago today during a debate that then candidate Biden made that pledge to choose a black woman. And so this day is steeped in significance. And of course, it comes against the backdrop of the president grappling with the crisis in Ukraine as well. And the White House has been watching that very closely, saying that the timing of this announcement could be impacted by events in Ukraine. But it looks like today is the day that President Biden will make this historic announcement, guys. I know there's a lot going on today, but if if we just take a moment and take this in, yep. Kristen, this is a very historic day for this country. Absolutely. Thank you, Kristen. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.